build video on the trailer and the boat uh, start off with the trailer and we'll work our way up into the boat start at the front full rolling hub spare cruiser pattern interchangeable with uh, further down the line plans rock guards part of the gunnels this is just to protect the front of the boat and the wrap from uh, the dirt roads we plan on taking this straight into Arnhem land in the next few weeks so stay tuned for that moving through full alloy Custom built trailer skids, center keel rollers, tandem cruiser pattern, cruiser rims, like I say, that's for future plans. Rocker roller suspension, nothing too fancy under there. Full skid, easy on, easy off. So easy, even the missus can do that one. So. This is for our missions out off Fraser. Got some big plans for it. Up front, just a standard rope winch. We haven't gone with electric on this. Didn't really feel like we needed it. Boat catch in on the front, all the basic stuff. 3.5 ton off-road hitch. May change this to a uh, Cruise Master setup down the track. We're just running with the ball for now. It's just too easily interchangeable. We've got 200 horses on the back. We went with the Zuki just because we uh, we actually couldn't get the Yemi that we originally planned. Um, we had this out the other day and it absolutely rips. We're averaging around that 50 kilometer hour mark. Top speed of about 62k an hour, which is plenty enough for us. We come from a uh, little 30 horsepower, so it's heaps better. In the center console, meter wide, T-top with the hard roof, solar up on the top. We also got some tie down points and stuff for our swags for those little bit longer extended missions out on the reef. Front in the anchor well, full electric anchor. We also went with the Minn Kota Altera. It's uh, proved itself tenfold already. We had it out on the reef the other day and holds a boat like nothing, so. So throughout the boat, we went with the uh, deck armor all the way through flooring. Up front, we've got a big storage hatch. We pretty much just keep all our general stuff in here, tools, snorkeling gear, whatever we uh, we plan on needing. Big storage compartments up front. Already got this gear packed for uh, our trip up north, so got bits and pieces everywhere. Same again on this side, with plenty of space to walk around, obviously. You move down to the back. So start with the seat. Got a full reversible seat on this just so that when we're trolling we can throw the lures out the back and still sit this way. So behind our seat, running this uh, zip up system, at the moment's just storage. Got plans to put a uh, slide out fridge under there with the ingle on. Starting underneath in the center console, got the Lowrance HDS 12, the Suzuki uh, monitoring system as well. Over here, so just got the basics, all our nav lights, cockpit lights, bilge pump, deck wash. Also got the EPIRB, that's a must for uh, traveling offshore. GME, VHF, Fusion, waterproof stereo and speakers, just the basic stuff up top. Under the center console, we're running just a couple little storage pockets and stuff, also housing all our electronics up under there. So running the full Victron system, 
plug in battery chargers and then the whole lot's powered by our revolution lithium life pros running the uh, victron system it's actually bluetooth straight to our phone so we can monitor everything that's coming in from the solar to what's being put out through the mincoder and and all the electronic little bait board down the back with a couple rod catches all the basic stuff everyone's pretty much got a few little storage compartments then down the sides we've obviously got the full storage lockers these pretty much just housing our uh, our rods for the moment so we get a, a little bit better system happening there. Down the back also got our twin kill tanks either side. They're self-drained straight out the back. Full self-draining hole as well. Um, and also little bait tank over in the back corner. Sea deck all throughout the rear. Same again, got our little logo laser cut in the back here with Black Marlin to build the boat. It originally started as a 5.2 metre. Um, it then grew to 5.6, but speaking with John, we ended up upgrading the sides, uh, both the gunnels and the side sheets. We went an extra 150 mil higher in the sides. Uh, just give us that big, nice front end to punch through the waves. Being a centre console, you don't have that protection like in some of the, the bigger offshore uh, hard cabin boats. So. We went with the nice high sides just to keep it a little bit drier inside the boat. Uh, we've had it out in probably half metre swell so far and it's just unreal. It's full 300 litre fuel tank running down the centre of the boat, housed underneath. That can be accessed if, if needed, but hopefully we never need to get into there. So down the back we're running just a couple little storage hatches. Inside there we've got our battery, that's just for the start. Start battery. Also, just running all our hoses and fuel lines, deck wash pump and things hidden up in behind there. Same again in this storage pocket over here, got another battery running in there. That's the big girl with the full cover on, so NJ's Bob Power and Toowoomba hooked us up. Full travel cover all over the whole top. Got ourselves a little zip at the rear so we can still access the boat while the cover's on. Um, quick, easy, zips back down. Velcro's over, happy days. Same with the motor cover. Full travel cover, this is just to protect it a little bit. Obviously still sucks dust, just like anything. You can barely keep it out. Glad wrap the motor up when we have to. Moving around. NJ's, thanks again. Up top. Little fuel hatch. Now, obviously that is a pain in the ass being up that high, but what do you do when you've got a six meter boat? That's about her guys. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed.